This tutorial was based on one of our themes, which we used the same framework, just the different contents and the demo data. So, it might be slightly different from the theme you are using, such as a logo, images, demo data, and some examples. However, as it is the same framework as you are using, you can follow this tutorial without any confusion. Please make sure that before you update the theme and the plugin, please back up your data and the files. You can talk to your hosting support team or check the documentation. Unload the new version of the theme file. It's gonna be one of them that has the same name as uh, your theme. And go to check plugins update. You can go to plugin list or you can just go to install plugins. Then you can find uh, what you should update. It's done. Let me go to check again. You don't have any update list. If you see listing manager pro plugin here on the active list or install list, please uh, install and activate it. You can also activate the others if you want to use it. The most of improvement of uh, new version is uh, listing pro. We have a uh, listing uh, manager pro, which you can create a listing type and uh, customize uh, the forms and uh, there are some many features you don't really have to use it but uh, we recommend you to use uh, the listing types for the future then uh, let's uh, migrate uh, the old listing data to the new listing type first of all you might need to set the listing forms if you want to keep the the old one, you just need to disable this one. If it is enabled, then go to listing and choose one of them, whichever you like. And just to make a screenshot of the listing form which you are using now. And after you make uh, the screenshot, while well, you remember whichever you want, and just to enable it again. Then you will see the form is gone because uh, we have a listing type and it gets from the listing type from the new version. So let's go to listing type and let's create one. You can name whichever you want and uh, I'm going to name the new listing type is place and the singular name place and the plural name places and the formal link you can do whichever you want but I'm gonna do place or you can do listing as uh, before also you can do listing 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 you know if you want to keep, then uh, you can do listings. But I'm going to do a new one for the, you know, better one. So you need to disable payment or address for now. You can enable later. And once you made the screenshot of the, the old one, you can just have a look at the, the screenshot and uh, add the same filters as before. Or create a new one. I want to add uh, contents and the logo, 
picture the image and detail image and map information and website email address and the phone number and just drag and drop and title should be uh, here and click okay so now you have a place which is a new listing type and uh, go to form and you need to create uh, the submit form you can use the old one might be a submit form you can find or you can just go to page and create a new one and find it here it's totally up to you so I'm gonna use the old one while I'm gonna overwrite here then just save it one more time and copy this chocolate and open this uh, so info page and the old one might not be able to use uh, Elementor because this is from the template. So you can use, uh, you can uh, change the template to the normal one, which is uh, full width. And click and edit Elementor to add the show code from uh, here. And you can just remove it everything and add the show code once again you don't really have to overwrite you can just create a new one and uh, you can select here I believe you might have uh, links already added that's why I just want to replace uh, the old one. Show code. And add the show code. The apply. Save. And let's see. Okay. It shows uh, that payment has been enabled. It should be disabled. So once you added the payment options, then uh, you can see here the price table. For now, you don't have any uh, uh, payment package, that's why it doesn't show. If you need more detail about the payment options, you can have a look at the, our uh, another tutorial about the, the payment. Okay, once you disabled, you will be able to see the forms which you just created. Then you can add some uh, okay, let's refresh first let's add some uh, header Okay, you can add uh, whichever you want. So if so if you wanna add more like filters, you can also add the filters, like a YouTube link or FAQ, whichever you want. And uh, let's have a look at the, the sub inform. So now when you see, it doesn't show any sub inform, but uh, you can still see the listing type selection. So once we select it and wait. It shows like that. You can see the old data. And then if you go here and you can find the listing type is place now, which we just created. You can also go each listings and the manual you can change. But uh, we have a bulk migration tool here. So this will change all of listing and category and everything will be changed to the, the listing type when you create a generator and when you go to listing
So when you go to pages, you can find uh, some uh, warnings about uh, selecting listing type because you created a listing type and then now you are using listing types. Then you can just choose listing type here. And also if you need, you can choose uh, the categories or taxonomies, whichever you want. It shows properly now. I don't have any images because I'm using the demo data. And when you go to listing or maps, also there is uh, the selection of a listing type. And when you go to the element ed editor, and then you can find uh, the page setting and you can choose uh, the place here. It shows only one listing now because we only made uh, the data change on the one listing and others we use bulk migration tool then you need to refresh your uh, listing data and you can do all and the listing type as well okay now you can see all and this is basically how you can migrate the old data to the, the new one. If you want to make sure, then you just need to refresh CSS and the data and also permalink setting. If you want to have the place which we created on the listing type, you can just use uh, listing types log. And now if you go to listing detail page, the listing slug has been changed from the listing to the place. For the old version, it was a uh, fixed, you are not able to change it a uh, slug. But uh, once we created the listing types, you are able to change uh, the slug, whichever you like. Then you go to here. Here. After you change, make sure to refresh the permalink. Okay, I think we have done for the, the migration from the old version to the new version. You might be a little bit confused for the new features for you because I just tried to give the details for the migration processing instead of uh, the detailed information of each features. We have uh, more uh, tutorials and uh, you can have a uh, look at uh, the tutorials then you might understand better. Thanks for your time and uh, if you have any problem or questions, please contact our support team. And please stay with us. We are planning to have more video and tutorials, including new template and new listing types. As you may know, our template and theme is quite flexible to build a different template and a different listing type and the website. I'm gonna do some with you and I'm gonna share how to do it and the files. Okay, thanks for your time and I'm gonna come back with another tutorial.